democracy in many ways is in trouble these days. People are frustrated with politics and with politicians and with political parties. And I think one of the reasons for this frustration is a sense that the political debates we're having are about small things, trivial things. But they certainly are not inspiring or engaging to many people, not engaging to most young people. These days, in democracies around the world, we're often not very good at reasoning together, listening to one another, paying attention to arguments with which we may disagree. I think every democratic citizen needs to engage in philosophy. Philosophy began with Socrates walking the streets of Athens and asking people questions about the way they lived, about the meaning of justice, about what the good life consists in. And the Socratic method enables us to reason together, sometimes argue together. It's a way of connecting philosophy to the world to real life, to the lives we live and the dilemmas we face every day. So whether we're talking about privacy rights or what counts as unfair discrimination, whether we're talking about equality and inequality or the role of robots for our future, everybody has an opinion. And so I think this kind of Socratic dialogue can help cure what ails democracy these days can provide an example of how we as democratic citizens can form views and advance arguments and listen to one another and reason together. That's what democracy should be about. What we're trying to do here is to invite the participants and, and the viewers into a Socratic discussion. So everyone can join, really. Come online, consider some of these ethical dilemmas, hear what others have said, listen to their arguments, and see what you think. Offer your views online, respond to the arguments, give your view about the ethical dilemma, and then see what other people have to say to you.